Well, folks, you know what they say, right? The internet loves to create drama out of thin air. And what else can I say? This situation is wilder than that of Dr. Disrespect story. Bruh. It's even wilder than Johnny Sin's movies because right now they are after him. They are trying to cancel PewDiePie. The title of this video is that PewDiePie does the most horrible thing ever. Bruh. All right. I, I think there's sarcasm involved in this one because, yeah, ever since he actually said that, hey, man, I didn't like Abby the Brock Lesnar dude getting his ass cheeks pounded in 4k in ray tracing in the last was two ever since that uh then uh, they started hating him and today we're gonna actually see what's going on like this video subscribe if you're brand new roll it hi one of the biggest youtubers of all time and he's always had a very strong fan base he's had ups and downs he's had controversies yeah um i remember a lot of the controversies and the stuff that was said about pewdiepie and i really never watched his content until it was either the Wall Street Journal or the Washington Post put out a hit piece on Pewds and oh, yeah, uh, did, did calling they? all of these horrible names, racist, Damn. sexist, misogynistic. Okay, I suppose that happened somewhere around the time when he had that bridge situation when he said the N-word, to which he apologized, and the apology felt uh, genuine to me, but... Uh, yeah, so that happened, and yeah, he has been clean ever since, right? So does, did, did, did that happen then? Because I read the comments, and you, you're not gonna believe it. Some people are saying that I no longer fear WW3. <laughs> so what is coming? I, I don't know what's coming, guys. I, I don't think. I mean, I kind of know, but I don't know what's coming. And I remember watching or reading that and going, there's no way this guy can be what they're claiming he is. So I started to watch his content and I became a huge fan because he was actually funny and he was actually just, it was good. It was good content, good, entertaining, funny content. Mm. And I've defended him uh -oh. all along the way uh -oh. since then. But finally now, PewDiePie, the great PewDiePie has finally crossed the line. And even I can't defend these disgusting, disgusting actions by PewDiePie. <gasps> and luckily, very level-headed, very strong-minded personalities on Twitter are standing with me and calling PewDiePie out for his disgusting behavior. What is it that Pewds did that is so terrible? What I want to give, I want to give a warning to all uh -oh, of you before uh -oh. I show you. This okay, I, right now I'm invested, guys. Get your pitch and forks ready, man. Uh, get your overclock keyboards ready because it is, it is judgment day right now. It is judgment day right now. Disgusting act that PewDiePie has been involved in. I just want to let you know that if you, if you have pronouns in your bio, this is going to be very difficult for you to watch. Okay, so I'm giving you the proper warning before okay. we click over to the next scene. Pronouns in bio, you have been warned, this will trigger you. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, no. PewDiePie oh, no. has done the disgusting act of having a family. <sighs> no way, what? That is crazy! Yo, families in what? Like, families in 2024? You cannot have that! Yo, PewDiePie, what you doing, bro? What you doing, homie? Oh my goodness! PewDiePie must be cancelled and called out for having a family. This was posted by Dexerto. PewDiePie is truly on his loving husband and father era. <laughs> if you play this video, you see Pewds with his family, uh, you know, his extended family, and it's just a really good, wholesome video showing that this guy who used to- And people are mad. Yes, people are mad. Uh, bro won at- Listen, at one point he was the most subscribed channel. Uh, it doesn't even matter in the grand scheme of things, right? Like, you know, family over all that bull squash, right? But, but point is that he achieved everything in life. Bro is literally the main character. Now he got a beautiful family. He still has 100 plus million subs. Uh, he's happy. He don't have to ever work a day in his life. And I believe he also started a book club, right? Something that he uh, he loves. Uh, so yeah, yeah, crazy, crazy. And uh, they're apparently mad. Wait for it. Play Wait video it. games and scream and do skits. Is now living a great, wonderful life. Man. And that apparently is a big problem for Twitter users, specifically yeah. pronouns and bio weirdos. We're going to go through some of the hot... Uh, let's go for two likes on the video for two genders, guys. Uh, 5,000 likes, uh, or uh, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Bruh. Highlights of some of the things that people are saying about PewDiePie simply because this video exists. Because apparently having a, a happy family is a really bad thing. 
This is the world we are living in. Look at this. PewDiePie is evil, and I hate how people see him as wholesome. He pushed people down the alt-right pipeline intentionally, which led to, you know what, against Muslims. What? Bruh. Again, these hey, are people bro. that buy... Pump the brakes, bro. I'm a Muslim myself. I never seen him. Brother, you. Brother, you. I never seen him uh, do any of that that would inspire anyone to do the those type of acts, right? Yeah, what are we talking about? I, I, we're living in a society, first of all. Bruh. We live in a society that's like... People blame somebody else for someone else's actions. We're really into that era. Like, what, what, what is going on with that crap, right? Into the fake narratives that are out there. Absolutely insane. You know karma is a bitch. It's not a myth. Because if anyone deserves to suffer horribly, it's this Man. Swedish piece of shit. Holy hell. Very like, level-headed takes. Very level-headed takes. Damn, who hurt it's you It's crazy though? because he inspired two of those really bad things. One of them personally credited PewDiePie in his manifesto. PewDiePie. Oh, if I, if I'm, if, oh man. Yeah, okay, uh, I don't know fully, but like, if I'm not mistaken, something happened, I believe in America, the, the mass, cannot say that on YouTube, right? And I believe the, the, the guy that did it, or the gal that did it, uh, I don't know who it was, uh, but the manifesto read PewDiePie or something like that. Bro, like, it's like somebody's, Anybody can do anything and then they scream somebody's name. It doesn't mean that they inspired them or they did it because of them. Like, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, this is what I was saying. That people would blame you because somebody else did something that they didn't like. Now, you are... Now, how dare you? You! It's them that did it, bro. It's they they did it. He did it. She did it. Why are you blaming me? You, you feel what I'm saying? That's kind of like where we at right now. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. Having a family in the 2024, that's insane to me, bro. That's baffling, though. Now, to understand this situation, right? First of all, uh, happy pride. Happy pride. But understand this, bro. If your parents were not hetero, you wouldn't be here in the first place, dog. <laughs> What are we talking? If, yeah, like, it, it takes hetero people to create you, bruh. It's because uh, there is boom boom happening. That's why you're here. That's why I'm here. That's why we're all here, bro. Boom boom needs to happen. It needs to happen. Two hetero people needs to get together and do the boom boom and then we're here, bro. What are we talking, man? If I addressed that, so pudes can't actually control what other people say. I know it's shocking Crazy. to believe Crazy. that a YouTuber that plays video games and streams at his c camera all day long can actually not control people. But the reality of it is, is individuals are responsible for their actions. And when you are the biggest YouTuber in the world at the time, yeah, you're gonna have mentally deranged people saying some really horrible things. Racism pays people and it pays good. There you go. Living proof that you can be a racist to 20% of the world and people still see you as a wholesome chungus, chungus 6 9 <laughs> Guess how many likes this tweet has? 149,000 likes. <gasps> no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? No way! Okay, nah, that, uh, I'm, I'm seriously shocked. I'm finding this one out live. I'm sorry, I just saw it happening live. If you get the reference, you get the reference. Like the video if you got the reference. But now nah, I'm sorry, I saw this live. But genuinely, I'm seeing this live. So you're telling me that this many people believe that crap? That is crazy, though. But now, nah, to be fair, though, yeah, he did say the N-word with the hard R, uh, that bridge situation. Yeah, you know, if, if you know, you know. But later on... He did apologize. Now listen, I'm not I'm not black, but I'm brown. I'm brown though. Uh, but I'm not black. If any of my black homies are watching, uh, I guess it's up to you to uh, forgive him or not. I guess uh, that matter is between him and you though. Uh, the type of person I am, I would 
I, I would absolutely forgive him uh, if the apology was genuine. To me, the apology was genuine, but I'm not in the position to whether, whether to like forgive him or not to forgive him. I remember that 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 controversy was very very big. I believe after that we had the adpocalypse, and after and ever since that, you know, it, it really did change YouTube for the worse. Right now, YouTube is getting better. It's getting better. I, I know censorship is always gonna be a thing, right? Uh, YouTube is not the best, but it's the best platform that we have. Uh, after Rumble, I would say, right? Rumble is not the biggest, uh, YouTube is the biggest, right? And YouTube is the, the, the best platform. Uh, be, because, like, I, I, you know, I also have uploaded content on Facebook, and Facebook is very strict. Uh, Twitter, Twitter is also best, but also, Twitter is also good, but Twitter is not necessarily, they cannot compete with YouTube. YouTube is by far, uh, it, they are easing up. They are easing up right now, but censorship is always going to be here to stay. So when PewDiePie did say the N-word with the hard R, it did change YouTube for the worse, and we had the demonetization, the adpocalypse, right, uh, and they started uh enforcing stricter rules i remember that if you have been around that uh, that era you know what i'm talking about right A hundred and forty nine thousand likes on this tweet crazy man that is and insane. guess what of course uh pronouns in bio because of course pronouns in bio drama alert tweeted this one pudes is being called a yahtzee for simply being a good father <laughs> these people are awful they okay, truly uh, are uh, time out time out Time out, time out. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. Um, yeah, I heard this a lot. Uh, PewDiePie always get labeled as a Yazi, right? Uh, of course, I don't want to, like, say the actual word here because, uh, you know, I'm saying we're on YouTube. But I, I seriously do not know the drama behind that specifically. I know the drama behind the N-word and all that, but not this uh, one specifically. If any of you know, definitely uh, enlighten us in the comments. Now, I'm a, I'm a believer of, hey, people can make mistakes and they can become better. Uh, they can change for better. I absolutely do believe in that. There, there are, but there are certain crimes. There are certain things where you know, if it happens, you can never come back. For example, right? Like if you, if you in a relationship, right? Some people would be different, and hey, that's your right. But for example, for me, like if, if for example, right? If I ever catch my girl uh, cheating, that's it. We're cutting it right there. It's Joe over. I might forgive her as a person, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna forgive her, but I'm gonna also move on. Forgive, forget, and move on. That's the type of person I am. I, I'm gonna forgive, but it's like there are certain things uh, that that you can uh, perhaps forgive, but it's never gonna be the same. You, you feel what I'm saying? But in situations like that, um, I, I'm not super hard on that, you know. Are so what we're dealing with here is a lot of um, let's just call it like it is. We're dealing with a lot of unattractive people that will never actually accomplish anything in life and they're really mad that PewDiePie has accomplished things that in reality aren't something that should be necessarily celebrated but we are in 2024 so yes having a, a wholesome family is something to be celebrated unfortunately because it's becoming uh <laughs> something that not a lot of people are into these days because of Crazy. the social media bullshit that's out there because Insane, people huh? are really really motivated by uh the corporations and hollywood and the main one word jealousy 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 also and, and uh, all the bull squash the agenda that's being pushed down to the kids and to the teenagers uh and uh, the gen z and all that yeah they want the uh, today's kids to believe today teenagers to believe that having a family that's uh that's problematic right oh hell what are we talking about like just the other day I, I'm, I'm sure you guys heard of it Alana Pierce, right? Like, nothing against her, but recently she came out, she's in a controversy as well. I wish her the best, but, like, damn. Like, she comes out, she says that having kids is a disability. Like, bruh, what are we talking about? Having kids is a disability. You could have you could have been like, yeah, it's, sometimes it hard, it's hard to travel with kids. Yeah, understandable, right? It, it is. It probably is. I don't have kids, but, you know what? I'm trying to find somebody who I can have, like, five kids, ten kids with it. Or with her, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel what I'm saying? The, I'm definitely exaggerating, but sometimes I, I'd be thinking, man, like I want like a soccer team or something like that. Yeah, man, I want to build my own soccer team, bro. I want to build my own soccer team, bruh. But no, genuinely though, like I also want a family of my own. But like in this day and age, bruh, like it's a sin right now. It feels like it's a sin, bro. Perfectly normal things to 99% of the world is apparently problematic to the 1% mainstream to embrace their mental illness instead of actually address their mental <clears throat> illness and that's a big problem 
And, uh, and the reality of it is, is PewDiePie is a, a really decent person. And um, if you look at it, the fact that this guy was the biggest YouTuber in the world for a long time. Yeah. And he really never had any real scandals. Now, if you want to say, well, he said the N-word, Jeremy. Yeah. And am I supposed to be fake offended over that because some weirdo on Twitter is fake offended over it? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be fake offended over shit. Yeah, that, that's between him and the black community, bro. Like, I remember when that drama happened. I've seen, like, a lot of uh, people videos. And, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the black community also made videos on it. Everybody made videos on it, right? And I've seen some people forgive him and other people not really. So it's between them and that. Yeah, you, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because pronouns and bio weirdos uh, want me to be fake offended over it. I really don't care. And the majority of people just don't care because it's really not that big of a fucking deal. And it, it's all about intentions, right? Like, uh, it, to me, to me, I could be wrong, absolutely. And uh, to me, it felt like that he said it in the heat of a moment, in the heat of the moment, not justifying it, but... But it happened, it happened, he apologized for it, and the apology felt genuine though, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all make mistakes though, in life, and uh, mistakes, uh, mis the type of mistake that PewDiePie made, he learned from it by the looks of it, so far he has not committed that again, right? And he apologized for it, that felt genuine though. There was no dog involved, <coughs> right? They, he never did like a T. Martin type of apology, there was no dog involved. This is why my non-existing dog bites people, first of all. But recently we also had this, a doctor disrespect story ongoing some new stuff came out and uh, yeah i'm not sure if you guys got to see that video or not check this one out if you've already seen it then check out the video on the left